Jim in Minnesota, I'm sure you know him from, from Twitter or seeing him around on there. He's asking what you see different about Garrett, Garrett Nelson's game this year, um, you know, compared to previous years and, and why you're so high on him, I guess. So when I watch the spring game, I have to keep in mind their backup tackles because he, he absolutely just destroyed them. And I'm like, wow. Um, but their, their backup tackles. Prohaska was injured. Um, Corcoran was out. Kind of the presumption is Corcoran will be right tackle. Prohaska left tackle. Obviously, they still have to earn it. Um, I'm still going to advocate for Brian, Brian, uh, Bryce Benhart to go to guard at some point. Uh, but in the spring, I just think they couldn't afford to do that with who was out. But, yeah, he made them look kind of silly. I know he was going against someone else a left tackle in the spring game. So I keep that in mind. But what I saw, because I did a video last fall, why the Huskers were struggling to get after the quarterback. And there's three basic steps to getting after the quarterback. Your get off, uh, your first step. I mean, I've seen guys beat Hall of Fame quarterbacks based on their first uh, uh, Hall of Fame offensive tackles based on their first step alone. Walter Jones for the Seahawks, I think it was 2008. And I remember because I was a rookie watching uh, Thanksgiving Day. DeMarcus Ware for the Cowboys going against Walter Jones, two Hall of Famers. And DeMarcus Ware had like three and a half sacks. And basically, he got three sacks based off his first step alone. He was by Walter with his first step before he ever got out of his stance. And then his dip and lean was so low, Walter couldn't get to him. Um, Garrett's first step has always been fine. I always thought, and I know he's not with us, so maybe this might make Husker fans mad. I always thought Phil Darius Payne had a great first step, the best one on the team. Obviously, he's moved on, but Garrett's always had a good one. I'll come back to step two. Step three was the finish. A lot of guys have a great first step. They have great hand moves. They have great technique as far as getting by the linemen, and they just don't quite finish like their hair's on fire. Go back and watch J.J. Watt. The guy's a physical freak, but before he got all banged up, and he was getting like 20 sacks more years than not, like him, you remind me of Grant Wistrom in college. He would run 30 yards downfield having no idea if the play was still going to be going on, He'd follow a quarterback on his bootleg, is carrying out his fake, whether he knew he had it or not. Sometimes he'd have it. When most guys would be like, I don't think you've got it. I'm going to jog over here. But he would end up getting a sack based on effort alone. Garrett's always had those two things. Good first step, great finish. What he was struggling with is very typical, because he's still a young player, is very typical of a young player. Um, How do I get the hands off? The offensive lineman, he's trying to punch me away. He's trying to lock up right here. This might shock you, but they don't call holding very much. and Especially, especially not against Nebraska. Oh, so. man. Good grief. So my senior <laughs> year, the only holding call, penalty called all year was on me. They actually called it <laughs> on me. I was so pissed. My, my jersey had holes all over it after some games. I was like, you got to be kidding me. But if a lineman gets you here, they won't call it, call it and they shouldn't. If, if they get you out here, that's a holding. Right here, they basically won the hand, hand placement battle. And so a lot of times – he would have great get off. He'd make contact with the lineman and he couldn't get off. He couldn't get off the block and he would get stuck because they'd have him right here. Um, and so for me, his technique, his pad level, dipping and ripping, getting low. Like I talked about DeMarcus Ware, he'd be so low. Walters couldn't catch up to him. His pad level, his, his dip and lean is much better. Um, getting the offensive lineman's hands off. Like a lot of D linemen in the NFL will do martial arts in the offseason because they get so good with their hands or boxing or something like that. I think people underestimate how important a hand placement is. Like, I don't know how to wrestle, but every once in a while there's some, you know, I have people who are like, all right, you're the NFL player. Let's see what you got. And I know that for a fact that they were wrestlers and they come at me, I'll get their hands off, chop them to the ground and they're done, even though I don't actually know how to do what we're doing better than them because uh, it's not an actual fight. It's like a mini wrestling match. Yeah. Um, but I'll win the hand battle and then they're done. And so for me, that's the thing he's always struggled with is fundamental yeah. techniques of getting off of a block. And he looked so much better in the spring game. I'm curious to see what he looks like against starting offensive linemen, but he looked a lot better. 